Hey, that look good, huh? What is that? That look avocado on a stick? Yeah. Is that avocado on a stick? Is that this right here? Oh. Uh, why he got shades? We inside. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so you're too cool. You're too cool to not wear shades, huh? You cannot wear shades inside. Okay? You have to wear inside shades. One yay moves. Guys who graduate. It felt like I was just in rookie minicamp throwing up for like, Kid you not. Congratulations to you all. Uh, for the 2023 Rookie Football Development Program. You are officially becoming graduates tonight. Thank you all for joining us uh, for this evening. It just feel like yesterday we was in August, you know, and rookie minicamp and stuff like that. I can look at Rasheed and be like, dang, bro. Like, we was just in rookie minicamp throwing up. <laughs> And I'm encouraging you to reflect because to be where you are today is a testament to your own self-agency, making the decision day in and day out, learning how to be a pro. The fact that we got this far so fast, man. What is it, week 15, 14, 14, 15? You know, my whole life I had a coach who told me, "Why you're gonna be in the family. Me, I'm just playing football because I like it. It's fun. I'm just playing with my friends. My mom always told me dream big, and anything you can dream, you can bring it to realization. So that's what I did. The big one is the left tackle, Wanye Morris, rookie out of Oklahoma, who started his career at Tennessee. It's his first NFL start at left tackle. The nerves are different. Actually, starting and you know those butterflies, they stay there the whole time. You know, it reminded me of college and it reminded me how much fun the game is, man. And just being out there from the jump, just balling with your boys. McKinnon will run it left side, trying to find a seam. Touchdown, Kansas City. Little extra attitude also by Wanye Morris to get the opening there. Outstanding job at the point of attack and will to get into the end zone by Jerick McKinnon. I was tired at first though. <laughs> I was really tired at first. I was like, oh my God, I got it catch my win, like, calm down. That was my biggest thing, just telling myself to calm down, because I know I was anxious. Wanye. Okay. Yeah, right. Make sure I can Wanye get out. Wanye just had his first NFL start. Yeah. yeah. That's my guy. Thank you, thank you. It's our rookie season. We don't know what to expect. Anything can happen. And, like, we still getting the feel for how everything works out, so. Just taking everything day by day and just not stressing too much about tomorrow, you know. Uh, just worry about what's in front of me, being where my feet are. I look forward to the challenge of playing the Patriots. Bill Belichick is arguably the greatest coach to have coached in the National Football League. Um, he proves it every year. You can see the improvements that they've made. Their defense is playing outstanding football right now. We brought the guys in yesterday and they understand that all our focus is straight ahead on, on the Patriots and anyways with that time, George. When you kind of think about this a little bit deeper, it takes a special kind of individual to want to sustain greatness, to sustain a high level performance, especially after you've had some success. I don't care what field it is. I don't care what, what you're talking about. People tend to, when they experience some success, whether it's just for a brief moment or let's just say for an intermediate period of time, it's kind of like, well, you know what, I've done my job, I'm good. I don't really need to chase anything any better than this. Kansas City's not wired like that. Patrick's not wired like that. Andy Reid's not wired like that. And the culture in Kansas City is such that as good as they have been, going to three Super Bowls, winning two, Patrick having multiple MVPs, a half a billion dollar contract. This team every year approaches it with that kind of Patriot mentality that the Patriots used to during their dynastic run, which was every year's a new year. Just make sure we stay together, make sure we play with a statement. 
Make sure everybody feel the, the importance of this game. Make sure you feel the, the importance of this game. Make sure you bury that thin. Whatever you gotta do, put your selfish sense aside and play for the team. We gotta play as one today, man. That's the only way we gonna win. Every year now we have to defend the fact that we have climbed to the very top. Tyranny the urgent can rob us from the joy of the moment. The two head coaches today, Kansas City Chiefs head coach Andy Reid and New England coach Bill Belichick, have a combined regular season win total of well over 500 victories. This duel with that win total, well, it's never happened in the history of the NFL. And I think this team, truly in the truest sense of the word, wants to be remembered as one of those types of teams that did what they needed to do in order to sustain greatness. And I think, look, that starts with the head coach. It filters down through Patrick, and the rest of this roster has bought in. And I think that's pretty cool, and that's why I think the sky's the limit for this football team. Oh, there's urgency here. The Chiefs at 8-5 and five can gain a two-game lead in the AFC West with three games to play with a win today here in New England. Let's just pause a second and realize that all of us are part of NFL history. Mahomes gets it out his own 31 to start the second drive. They fake it into round pressure, but a late throw middle goes to Kelsey, and he's at the 37, gaining six yards. Edwards Alaire, single back, hands on his knees. They fake it in around again. They're going to run a screen right. It's set up. Edwards Alaire at the 45, midfield. Three blockers in front of him. Keeps his hand on the ground, up the sideline, breaking tackles inside the 20. And the Chiefs are in business down at the New England 15. And now the Chiefs are going to go inside with a handoff to Rice. Touchdown, Kansas City. Andy Reid has just brought the single wing back to the National Football League. Joe Tooney snapped that ball on a direct snap to McKinnon, who handed it off to Rice. That's his seventh of his rookie season. That's an all-time Kansas City Chiefs record. Coach, that ball gonna be rookie yeah, yeah, that's a rookie, right? Huh? You know that? Oh, yeah! Receiver touchdown, yeah! Smartest player on the angle. I know. Zappy, third down and 12 at his own 37. Zappy retreats, again pressured. He'll fire it over the middle late, and it's caught. First down for New England, the Kansas City 49. Zappy wants to throw it in the flat. Now he'll throw it for the end zone for Henry, and he's got a touchdown, New England. Again, a mistimed jump by the Chiefs. Again, a 16 yards. And again, the Chiefs offense trying to find something of rhythm to try to piece some plays together here. Third and eight at its own 27, trailing 10 to seven. A five-man rush, here comes a free blitzer. Now a left side throw. Watson coming back to the ball and makes the catch. Justin Watson with a 30-yard catch. Big time down to the New England 40-yard line. Snap to the face mask of Mahomes. McKinnon right flat. Catch. Five. Near side. Pylon. Touchdown. Kansas City. McKinnon has thrown for a touchdown and now caught a touchdown. And the Chiefs regain the lead 13 to 10 on a well-executed flat pass to the December touchdown machine, Jarek McKinnon. New England had a 61-yard touchdown drive. Then they had an interception that led to a short drive for a field goal. Bailey Zappi. Wants to throw it, he's in trouble, dumps it, late intercepted on the near side, picked off Willie Gay Jr., near side gets a block, he's inside the 10, and down to the Patriot six-yard line. A pick by Willie Gay Jr. and a 24-yard interception return. Hey, what? Why do you want to go score? Why do you want to score? You don't get in the dang end zone. What? Second down, goal to go at the six. Cut. Mahomes with a pump faking. Now turns left, Chase floats it for the back of the end zone. Caught! Clyde Edwards in there! Touchdown! Kansas City! CEH, nine and a half yards deep in the end zone, went up the elevator to get a six yard reception from Patrick Mahomes, and the Chiefs lead by 13. Some of these adjustments, I just, I don't know how you defend him. His biggest play since his rookie year. The 
puts the Chiefs at 9 and 5 with a badly needed victory and a two game lead in the AFC West. Hey, listen, you celebrate every win, man. You don't grade these things. Don't grade them, right? You, you just take their W's and their L's, man. That's what they are. Yes, sir. So you take yes, advantage sir. of that. But congratulations. Let me give it just one. How about those? Oh, Happy holidays. Christmas is ahead and the, the game that goes with it. So where are you at with your Christmas shopping? Because I finished my Christmas shopping last week. Where are you at when it comes to your Christmas shopping? It appears as if Patrick Mahomes bought the offensive lineman golf carts. That's right. And they were like souped up golf carts. Oh, yeah, they they look nice. They're, they're, they're beautiful golf carts, right? Like any gift that makes adult men, especially like adult football players, right, make them look like little children. They've all got these big cheesy grins on their face. They're doing donuts. Time of their life yesterday, right? I know. Yeah, it looks like Marshawn in his jaw. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a whole, I'm not a whole lie, but Travis got me some pockets, okay? <laughs> my bad, my bad. I got these things thinking they were just gonna be like, yeah, we see them later. Everybody was like, no, nope. taking them to the parking lot immediately. Pulling around the neighborhood, honking on the horn. Yeah. 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 I heard y'all like, everybody, they're gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you kidding me? Hi, I'm Tammy Reed. I'm the head coach of the head coach of the Chiefs. My mom always made it special at our house. We had seven children in our family. I just love Christmas and all the things that come with it. The food, the decorations, the giving spirit, the service-oriented time of this year. I've always loved Santas, and I have had Santas. My mom has gifted me Santas, and Andrew just started our first year of marriage, gave me a Santa. I think he loves it. It's kind of the finding and gifting and seeing if I'll love it, which I've always loved them, so he has no worries there. <laughs> This is one of the main rooms with a lot of Santas. Some of them I purchased, some of them Coach has purchased, a lot of them my girlfriends have purchased. People know I love Santas, so they just buy me Santas. For example, let's see this one. 1983, we were only married for two years, so isn't he cute? And I collect Noah's Arks too, so I, I'm sure that came into effect, him finding a Santa with a Noah's Ark. That was kind of fun. When I open this one, I'm like, are you kidding me, Reed? Like, he's bigger than me. This one he gave me a few nights ago. He got home from work and had this giant box. And he's like, you should probably open this now, which usually means, oh, there's a Santa. And it was this one, which I think is amazing. He's in a little treasure box. He's got a cute face. And I've already 
I already know it was from 2023, so that's that one. It brings him joy, it brings me joy, so he keeps doing it. Well, since we've lived in eight states, I think, it's been kind of fun to open them and reminisce about the places we've lived and also about the friends because a lot of these are from girlfriends from each of those places. Christmas will be fun because all of our kids that live here and the grandkids will be at the game because you can't find sitters on Christmas. So it'll be fun in our suite just to host all of our family and hang out and then we'll come over here after and hang out with Gramps. It's a big task. There's a lot. We feed 70,000 people within three hours. We start playing about 10 days out. And we just finished the Bills game. So generally take about two days to coast from that. And then we start rolling right into the next game. Stocking jersey, stocking beer, stocking soda and water. So we have 19 retail stores, and we have over 66 concession stands and 30 portables. We have almost 100 locations. I think the biggest thing people just don't realize is the amount of hours and preparation that our team puts into to get everything ready. And game days are probably about 12 to 14 hour days. We'd probably take Joey Chestnut two hours to eat all our hot dogs and brats. We do about 10,000 units of that. Beer units, right around about 40,000. Probably fill up about 300 F-150s, full tank of gas in terms of gallons of beer that we're selling. We're very small on the map of what fans want to do, right? But we're also very important on what needs to happen on an event day. Merry Christmas, everyone. Here's what's interesting. As the Chiefs get ready to play the Raiders today, the Broncos have won 15 division titles, the Raiders 15, the Chargers 15, the Chiefs 15. Today, the Chiefs can break the tie and get an eighth consecutive AFC West title. You look at the Chiefs now, we've seen them so many times, the two of us. It hasn't been all season long that easy for them like it has been in recent years. It's been challenging, and you've seen it. I mean, there's been struggles. We know about the drops and some of these close games. It comes down to a play here and there. For this Chiefs team, you talked about winning an eighth consecutive AFC West title with this opportunity today. It is very, very simple. If the Chiefs win, they win the AFC West. They don't need any help from anybody. If you win, you are in. You host the playoff game. You win your division, and all is well in Kansas City. Kent's 
play of the drive for Mahomes. Now, the Chiefs, they're going to run a wildcat formation here in a direct snap. Three Kansas City, five minutes to go, second quarter. Now the Chiefs have to figure out to go 87 yards against this tough Raider defense as the Chiefs now shift over. They're in a Wildcat set again. And now a drop by Mahomes, and the Raiders will pick up the football and get a touchdown. Now you have an opportunity with 4.55 left in this half to end it with something positive. And on first down, a short roll, right sideline throws intercepted. This is gonna be a pick six for the Raiders by Jack Jones. Two touchdowns in seven seconds. They fall to nine and six. Raiders at seven and eight. Right now, it just looks like uh, the Chiefs are a little out of sync. This is a tough pill to swallow here on Christmas Day, Mitch. Losing to an AFC West opponent, not securing the division. And a short week to get ready for the Bengals as the Raiders go to a knee and get their first victory here since the 2020 40 to 32 victory. The Chiefs will fall to nine and six. Right now, we're joined in studio by Mitch Holtz's voice of the Kansas City Chiefs. There's a lot to get into. I don't want to eliminate the Chiefs, and I know some people have, hey, this team can't put it together. This team can't win the Super Bowl. I'm not at that point with Kansas City. I'm still holding on in that regard. But I do question if this team can sort of get out of their way long enough to really catch any momentum to start playing their best football down the stretch. So you're asking, you know, a pertinent question. Can they, as you put it, get out of their own way and fix it? That becomes, you know, the crux of the matter over the next 96 hours. It's not like the season's over, let's just collapse and shut everything down. Because of this coaching staff, and I do have belief in the staff, particularly in Coach Reed. What's underrated about him is his ability to patch the boat. You're thinking, well, shouldn't it be patched by now? My answer to you is the next 96 hours. And can you patch it and win this game? The only way, the only way to approach it is to focus on the Cincinnati Bengals in every way, shape, and form. To be more precise, play cleaner. You can't think about anything else in the galaxy but the Cincinnati Bengals. That is our guy Mitch Holt is joining us in studio. Mitch, Happy New Year. I'll see you after yeah. the first of the year. Beat the Bengals. Absolutely. Win a division, just beat the Bengals. Nothing else matters in life. <laughs> 